Hi there, I'm Michael Stennett, the founder of the Antique Piano Shop. What we have here is one of our beloved square grand pianos dating from about 1875. This piano was built by Hazelton Brothers in New York and it's been lovingly restored to absolute perfect condition. This is what this piano would have looked like when it was built. When it left the factory in 1875, a piano like this would have cost about $1,200. That's the equivalent of a small house. Unfortunately, the square grand piano has been all but forgotten by the conventional piano industry, but there's still quite a few of them around. They are quite rare. Uh, most piano technicians don't know how to work on these, and so they tell most people that they can't be restored, they can't sound good, but that's simply not the truth. There's a huge resurgence in the square grand piano today, a renaissance of sorts. People are beginning to realize the rarity and the beauty of these instruments. This is one of the larger, later square grand pianos. It has more of a conventional sound, uh, closer to what we know today. Uh, doesn't have quite the early forte piano sound, which we'll show in another example. This piano is made of Brazilian rosewood, and Brazilian rosewood is almost extinct today and it's impossible to import into the United States. Uh, as a result, it's very, very desirable. You can see the beautiful wood grain here. The keys on this piano are also made of ivory, so just think about that. The piano is made of uh, exotic rosewood that's endangered, ivory that's endangered. You simply cannot go out and buy this piano today. And here is another example of a square grand piano that we have restored. Chickering was the first piano manufacturer in the United States and they were established in Boston in 1823. Back then, the square grand piano was what you would find in the common Victorian home. Uh, uprights didn't come about until about 1890. This piano is extremely early, and it has an early forte piano sound to it, which gives you an idea of what the composers would have heard when they played the piano in the late 1700s and early 1800s. This piano has a smaller keyboard. It has not evolved to a full 88-note keyboard. It also has fewer strings per note and much less tension inside. What makes this piano sound so incredibly unique is the fact that it has leather-covered hammers instead of felt hammers. Felt hammers hadn't evolved yet, so the leather hammers were easy to make and easy to come by back then. And it gives you that beautiful harp sound that you hear on this piano. The Antique Piano Shop is one of the only shops of its kind in the industry that specializes in restoring square pianos like this. As you can see from its shape, it's square. It doesn't look like a conventional piano. It's not made like a conventional piano. The strings run left to right rather than front to back. The hammers are at an angle. Everything's weird about this piano and you can't buy parts for them. So we actually have to make all of our parts here on site uh, for pianos like this. Everything is done by hand. We even make the jigs to make the parts for these pianos. Uh, you simply can't get this stuff anywhere else. And we're proud to be one of the only companies in the industry that specialize in restoring pianos like this.